It's rare, but it still happens too often. This Vietnamese man had a pair of surgical scissors removed from his stomach 18 years after his original surgery. According to the Canadian Institute for Health Information, it happens more often than you think in this country. In the last two years, 553 foreign objects like sponges or surgical instruments were left in Canadian patients. They're never events. They are not supposed to happen, and the number should be zero. Tracy Johnson of the Canadian Institute for Health Information points out the numbers have risen by 14% since the last report in 2012. There's a couple of cautions with that, though. One is we do have really good reporting here in Canada, and a number of our peer countries like the UK and the US can't report these numbers. And it's why Canada is only being compared to other OECD countries. Canada ranks at the top with 9.8 incidents per 100,000 medical and surgical discharges. Right behind us is Sweden with 8.3 incidents. Then there's a substantial drop-off. The Netherlands and Norway combined still don't have as high a rate as Canada. And we are more than double the OECD average. The fact that they're still happening is concerning. Sandy Cossey of the Canadian Patient Safety Institute says operating rooms are high-stress environments. Instrument counts are normally done in the OR, however she wonders if there are better safeguards. If organizations or hospitals can actually implement technologies, things like radio frequency ID, to actually help count. So how can you know if this has happened to you? Well, you'll probably feel it. They result in infections or a whole lot of pain or their blood work just doesn't look right because something's not functioning the way it should. The Canadian Institute for Health Information hopes by sounding the alarm, hospitals will focus more on the problem so that these so-called never events will never happen again. Mike LeCouture, Global News, Ottawa.